Welcome back, everybody. Uh, it's been about nine months since our last update and a full year since we received our first sling kit in December of 2022. This is about where we were on the build uh, nine months ago when we provided our last update. We've continued to work on the plane, although we haven't provided any YouTube updates. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so we've continued to work, as I said, and this is where we are as of yesterday. So we've made quite a bit of progress on the fuselage. Um, engine and propeller are mounted, obviously, and we were even able to get the engine started. So at the end of this uh, YouTube video, I'll have a little clip of, of the engine start for everybody. It's very exciting to get that done. So here are a few photos of uh, what we've done along the way. So here you can see in the background, the fuel tanks are completed there. We've um, done the pressure testing on the fuel tanks and they're mocked up on the wings now. Um, this is a picture of us mounting the engine. Um, it went pretty smoothly, especially with the cherry picker that we were able to borrow. Um, we did learn later that the there was a service bulletin on the engine mount bolts, so we had to come back and replace those. Um, here's a picture with the uh, engine all the way mounted and the canopy on. Um, again, not too difficult of a process, although this took a little bit of time. Um, I will say that the, with the fuselage kit and the instructions, they're a little more vague than, say, the empennage or the wings. However, by the time you get to this part of the build, you've learned a lot and you're able to infer um, a lot, which is good, as well as the sling community is very helpful if you have any questions. Um, here we are uh, beginning to do some of the interior work. You can see here that we opted to go with the hard fuel lines from the fuel selector forward. Um, we did go with the Midwest Panel Builders um, harness, panel and harness. So there's some of the wiring going in here and we would highly recommend uh, for somebody that's not familiar with wiring to do that. The wiring harness is very well made um, and really saves a lot of time. So here is another photo um, starting to get the avionics in. Um, this tray here comes from Midwest um, panel builders. And so that makes it really easy to just get it on there um, and start mounting everything. Everything is all labeled, um, where to go. All of the hardware um, comes with the panel builders kit. And so it really makes the process uh, a lot simpler and saves you a lot of time. And again, here's another photo in the fuselage as we start running the wiring through. Um, in this photo, you can see we have hard lines down, uh, hard, hard fuel lines down there by the spar. Uh, we ended up opting away from that and replace those with some flexible Teflon lines. Uh, the hard fuel lines were just very difficult to get um, routed well and um, just created more of an issue. So we, we ended up replacing those. But uh, in this photo, there's a lot of wiring going on, but uh, really not too difficult, just time consuming. Uh, here's how we decided to mount the antennas. Um, the forward antenna there is the, uh, actually the ELT antenna. We decided to go with a different ELT antenna. Um, and then we split the, the GPS antennas you see on the bottom of the screen there, as well as that square one on the left of the screen, uh, just to, to comply with Garmin's recommendations for distance between antennas. Um, but mounting hardware all came with the Midwest Panel Builder stuff. So uh, again, very, very handy to have. Uh, a photo of the panel um, mocked up um, and most of the wiring completed at this point. Um, we even were able to power everything on. Um, obviously, during the engine start, we had to have everything powered on. So um, at this uh, at this stage now, uh, we have the majority of the avionics completed, um, which is a, another big step. So here is the mounting for the um, propeller. And so uh, we did go with the Air Master propeller um, and the electrically actuated prop and, uh, you know, that really been happy with it so far. Obviously, we haven't um, flown it, but uh, you know the the quality seems very good. The propellers are very light, uh, lightweight, um, but really good good craftsmanship, we think. So uh, here is another picture with the propeller on and mounting the cowling. Um, this this was a time consuming process. It took a long, a long time to get it up there um, and trimmed. However, the, the video from from Evan, it was very useful for um, for getting that. So here's uh, coming up the the engine start. Okay, so fuel pump. 
So in the video you can see um, we got the engine started and uh, everything is it seems to be running well. Uh, we ran the fuel lines, you can see that red fuel can there, we ran the, the fuel in the return uh, down into a can there while we were running it because we don't have the wings on so no fuel tanks. Um, but yeah, this, this was a very big step for us and we are excited that uh, we are here. All right, and last but not least, we have acquired a hangar for the sling when, once the project is ready to get moved to the hangar. Uh, we're gonna continue to keep everything in the, in the garage as long as we can, it just makes it um, easy to work on, easy to you know, spend a little bit of time working on it whenever we can without having to make a trip down to the hangar and dedicate a whole day um, to the work. So uh, in the meantime, we'll continue to document the, the process and uh, update as soon as we can. Um, you know, as I had, had feared kind of early on, the, the YouTube video making process does take quite a while. And, you know, honestly, I'd rather be spending that time working on, on the sling rather than making the video. So, um, you know, hopefully we'll have another update for everybody soon. Um, and uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching.